Well, while some people were sipping champagne out at the bars, or maybe you were snuggling with your pet waiting for the ball to drop at midnight, a handful of Jacksonville women were in labor, ready to meet their new babies while ringing in the new year. On your side, Jocelyn Howard brings us Jacksonville's first very special delivery of 2020. Nothing beats ringing in the new year with a new life and all New Year's births are special, but how cool is it to be named the first baby to be born in 2020 in Jacksonville? That lucky family is here at Baptist South. And I think I need to go like buy a lotto ticket or something. She made it to 2020. <laughs> Katie and Jason Baker are parents to the healthy baby girl. Sydney Baker, eight pounds, two ounces, entered the world at 1213 this morning. Uh, we were trying to get into 2020. I thought that would be a pretty cool birthday to be like 1-1-2020. One, one, the Baker's due date was December 28th, but a birthday special was worth the wait. I actually had bought her a bunch of really cute Christmas stuff because I thought she would be a Christmas baby, but turns out she wanted to be a New Year's baby. The Bakers take the title of the first baby born in Jacksonville, but an often forgotten title, the last baby of 2019, that would be baby Austin Parker, just down the hall, born at 1148 last night. They were like, no, you gotta wait, wait. And I was like, I can't. But it's not such a bad thing. Swift didn't make it. Gift baskets for the first baby of 2020 are great, but 2019 babies get a child tax credit. Oh, well, I started joking. I was like, does that make me an awful person? That I want to claim him <laughs> if he's born before 12? Because um, I'm looking forward to that. Wow. These babies yeah. may have been born in different years, but the parents say they will have one thing in common, extremely notable birthdays. We're going to be hosting some pretty epic New Year's Eve parties, I think, for from now on. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.